I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, Academy Award winner Colin Firth wants to change his identity and start a whole new life. It's my review of Arthur Newman right now. All right, this being 2013 and unofficial cinematic law being what it is and this movie being what it is, I'm going to issue a spoiler alert right now. i got to talk about some plot points here. British actors Colin Firth and Emily Blunt take their American accents for a spin in Arthur Newman. This is an offbeat, sometimes self-congratulatory road movie romance. The always compelling Firth plays Wallace Avery. He ditches his job, his girlfriend, and his estranged teenage son when he becomes Arthur Newman. The beguiling Blunt plays Mike. She has similar identity issues. How convenient. She's in need of rescuing. Cue the road trip montages. Where would you like me to take you? Let's check it out. <laughs> Broke into people's houses, wore their clothes, slept in their beds. Arthur and Mike spend a lot of time talking about their problems, but even as they're committing all sorts of crimes legally and just against society, they're so darn likable and so obviously right for each other, the ragged edges don't feel that authentic. These two are adorably broken. You know what it's like, don't you? Lose what you thought you didn't want. Spend the rest of your life wanting it back. Also, it's really hard to care for Arthur because of his initial act. While we're watching this charming and entertaining little piffle of a road movie about two damaged souls that just might be able to save one another, we can never quite shake the disdain we have for the horribly selfish stunt that set the whole thing in motion. What kind of a guy leaves his son behind and makes his son feel like he's dead? It's wrong! Sorry, Arthur Newman, I give you a C+. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels.